If you love cleaning your home, raise your hand. I'm right with you and the best way to do it is with a vacuum because can you imagine life of cleaning a house without a vacuum? Sounds damn near impossible if you ask me. So given that we are in the future and we do have vacuum cleaners, we're looking at the Musu U19 5-in-1 vacuum cleaner that's going to help you get the job done all around your house. It's got a powerful 7 kPa brushless motor to suck in all the debris and dust. It's got a large 10 cell 2500 milliamp hour battery that's going to get you between 20 and 46 minutes of cleaning time depending on how powerful you want the suction to be. And once you finish cleaning it takes about 4.5 hours to fully charge so it'll be ready to go the next day when you're ready to clean again. Or next week. I don't know how often you clean. It's got a washable HEPA filter along with an 800 milliliter dust bin to collect all the particles. It has a freestanding design so that way you can stand it up against the wall without having to have a mounting bracket or anything there to hold it up. Very nice. And really this vacuum is just super versatile being a 5-in-1 because you can detach attachments, put things together, use like a hose to clean something high up. It's up to you. You can clean everything. And it even has an LED light in case you want to clean stuff in the dark. The box of course is looking very nice. Nice design here. You can see the vacuum cleaner looking very cool. Oh boy, I see a vacuum. Inside the box, I have a user guide, along with a getting started guide so you know exactly how to set everything up. We have a replaceable HEPA filter in case the other one gets too dirty, an upholstery brush, a shoulder strap so you can strap the vacuum to your shoulder, an angled brush head so you can get around the edges of surfaces, an extendable hose attachment that has some decent length to it, pretty nice. We have the electric floor brush that has an LED light on the front so you can vacuum in the dark. Just make sure you don't vacuum up any water to avoid any accidents. Down on the bottom you can see we have some rubber wheels here so you can smoothly glide against the surfaces of the floor along with the spinning brushes here to suck everything in with all that power. Next we're looking at the handle here that you're going to attach. It also has a power button along with the mode button so you can increase the suction power. As you can see there's a release button here so you can easily attach it to the other parts of the vacuum along with a rubberized seal here on the top so you can put attachments in here. We have an AC wall adapter to get things charged up and then finally we have the actual vacuum itself now looking at this vacuum it has a very large capacity 800 milliliter dust bin that's gonna collect all the dust and debris it's a really nice vacuum on top we have the power button along with the mode button so you can adjust the suction power over on the back we have a battery indicator light so you know how much charge you have we have 33 66 and 100 percent charge down here on the bottom we do have some charging pin connectors that way when you attach the handle it has a current going through so you can control the vacuum's power with the handle down here on the bottom we have the charging port connector we have air intake vents over on the front we do have a release button to release the attachments as well as a dustbin release button to release the dustbin you can easily pop out the HEPA filter pop out the mesh filter and that way you're able to wash it very easily put it back into place as you can see it's very easy to replace the filters now keep in mind both filters are washable and it recommends washing and air drying them every two weeks and replacing them every three months if you want to have the best suction and filtration system so once you get everything emptied out or you replace and wash the filters you can easily place it back into the vacuum lock it into place and you're ready to clean again. So like I was saying, this is a five in one vacuum. So of course we have handheld mode, very easy. You can press the power button. <laughs> clean things up. The next mode's gonna involve the shoulder strap. You can easily attach it on, onto both sides. And now you can wear this around your shoulder. You can easily adjust the length to the length you need. And what we're gonna do here is attach the hose. And now we can power it on and then vacuum up stuff just like so while it's just dangling on our shoulder. Very cool, very versatile. The next mode, you can actually attach the handle down here on the bottom. We just have to pop open this rubberized cover, slip it into place. And as you can see, the pin connectors will connect. You just lock it in and then you can easily reach higher places or you can even take it further and attach the floor brush head right onto this. And as you can see, we got a long vacuum here. Like I was saying, you can attach this however you want and get the job done very easily. Easily just turn it on. And vacuum, simple. Of course, you can also attach this the other way. So put the handle up here on the top, attach this down here to the bottom, and now we can vacuum with this handle, just like so. Look at that, wow. You can attach this pretty much in any order you want. That's the beauty of it. Whatever you're feeling, you can do it. And as you can see, when you have the floor head attached, it actually rotates 180 degrees and 90 degrees going up and down. That way you can get underneath hard to reach places. Although if you want to get under hard to reach places, you're going to want to have the handle down here at the bottom because it's a lot thinner and easier to access different areas. But I'm sure you're wondering how loud this vacuum actually is. So why don't we find out? As you can see, as far as vacuums go, it's pretty standard. Hey, turn off the studio lights. And remember, the vacuum has an LED light on the floor head, so look at that, cleaning in the dark. 
It's actually a very bright LED light. I'm impressed. Hey, go studio lights on. So now that we got everything set up and unboxed, let's go put this thing to the test on some actual floors and see how well it actually does. And we are back. As you guys can see, the vacuum is working very well. It does a good job cleaning up and it's very versatile. Like you can literally strap it to yourself, clean the curtains or the blinds while it's just resting on your shoulder. You don't have to hold it in your hand. That right there is convenience. And I'm actually really liking that. Now it works good in the car if you want to clean the car in a pinch. It works good on the floor in your house. You can suck up messes. Very nice. Remember, it has two modes of suction. It has regular suction, which, you know, gets the job done. But if you want some super powerful, super cleaning, although it's going to cut your battery life basically in half, you can press that button power it up and <laughs> sucks up everything. So if you're looking for a vacuum that can clean your house, your car, your blinds, your roof, your ceiling, you can strap it on your shoulder, this right here might be the vacuum for you. Really, I'm just liking how versatile it is. I mean, you could pretty much clean anything you want. It's very cool.